Hi there, once again a Google Cloud right here. We're gonna check something on a big query. Just gonna be big data. Click done. All right, we have a red lab. In case I'm going to upload the data for the stuff, so I'm going to add data, explore public data sets. That's right here in London. Yep. Yeah. Click on view data set. A lot of stuff. So we are on the BigQuery public data. London bicycles. Okay. Let's click on circle higher. All right. So right here, you're going to be running a query over, over it. You can say query table or even this is going directly to data set in the table, right? Just took around 20 seconds for getting the results. Okay. So I'm going to be running a different condition. Okay, let's run it. Take it a while. It's taking long. Now I'm gonna show you that BigQuery also has this is the much more columns. I just added a where condition and now you're gonna show that BigQuery also has a group by. There's a group by function, okay? It has a couple of functions similar to SQL, like I'm gonna show you now, counting with a group by. Also here, as you can see, SQL also has an S keyword, which create an alias of a table or column. An alias is a new name that's given to the return and column or table, whatever as is specified. The S is specified. Add an S keyword to the last query we ran to see the action. So you're going to do this. And now, okay, you see there's another name for that. Num starts. Now we're gonna add an order by. Uh, 
Okay. The name. Let's change the order by num. Okay, also desk. Okay, cool. Well, for the BigQuery, that's all I'd like to share and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.